The Miraculous Medal, also known as the Medal of Our Lady of Graces, is a devotional medal, and the design was given by the Blessed Virgin herself through her apparitions to a young novice, St. Catherine Lebore. The chapel where Our Lady gave apparitions was built in the year 1815 and was dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Before the apparitions of Mother Mary, in the preceding months, St. Catherine had the privilege of other apparitions. One time, St. Vincent de Paul showed her his heart. St. Catherine saw on three successive days the heart of St. Vincent de Paul in three different colors. The first heart appeared white, the color of peace, then red, the color of fire, and then black, an indication of misfortunes that would come upon France and Paris in particular. Soon afterwards, St. Catherine saw Jesus present in the Eucharistic host. In the words of St. Catherine, I saw our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament all the time of my seminary, except the times when I doubted. Later, on June 6 in the year 1830, on the Feast of the Holy Trinity, Jesus appeared to her as a crucified king stripped of all his adornments. On July 18, in the year 1830, on the eve of the feast of St. Vincent de Paul, who St. Catherine loved so much, she prayed to him that through his intercession, her desire to see the Blessed Virgin would finally be fulfilled. Then she went to sleep. Suddenly at 11.30 at night, St. Catherine was called by name by a mysterious child. The child was at the foot of her bed and asked her to get up and said, The Blessed Virgin is waiting for you. St. Catherine followed the child, who took her to the chapel. Having arrived in the chapel, St. Catherine stopped near the chair used by the priest in the sanctuary. St. Catherine heard a sound like the rustle of a silk dress. She then saw the Blessed Virgin seated on the chair, and St. Catherine sat at the foot of the Blessed Virgin and rested her hands on the knees of the Mother of God. There, a period of time passed, the sweetest of my life. It would be impossible for me to say what I experienced. The Blessed Virgin told me how I should behave towards my spiritual director and also several other things. The Blessed Virgin then pointed to the altar where the tabernacle was and said, Come to the foot of this altar. Here, graces will be spread over all who ask for them with confidence and fervor. Our Lady also requested for the establishment of a confraternity of the children of Mary. On November 27, in the year 1830, the Blessed Virgin appeared to St. Catherine again in the chapel. It was 5.30 pm and St. Catherine was meditating. She saw the Virgin Mary standing on a big globe, which seemed like a half globe, with her feet crushing a serpent, with a golden globe in her hands. Her eyes were lifted up to heaven as she offers the globe to our Lord. On the globe was the word France, and Our Lady told to St. Catherine, that the globe represented the whole world, but especially France. Then St. Catherine saw that Mother Mary had rings of precious stones on her fingers, and rays of light came from some stones, and there were no rays on the other stones. Our Lady told St. Catherine that the rays symbolized the graces she obtains for those who ask for them, and the gems which gives no light are the graces available, but cannot be given because no one had asked for them. Then the apparition changed and a second image was shown, where beautiful rays of light coming from the Blessed Virgin's open hands and penetrating the world. Then an oval formed around the image with these words, O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. Then the image turned and St. Catherine saw the reverse side of the image. There was seen the letter M surmounted on a cross and below it a heart of Jesus with crown of thorns and the heart of Mary pierced by a sword. Around the image were twelve stars. Then Our Lady said, Have a medal struck upon this model. Those who wear it will receive great graces, especially if they wear it around their neck. In the month of December in the year 1830, during meditation, St. Catherine again heard the rustling sound this time behind the altar. The same image of the medal appeared near the tabernacle. 
St. Catherine heard, These rays are the symbol of the graces that the Blessed Virgin obtains for those who ask them of her. You will not see me anymore. This was the end of the apparitions. St. Catherine communicated the requests of the Blessed Virgin to her confessor, but the father was not receptive to her message and forbade her to even think about it. However, an interior voice kept insisting that the medal must be struck. St. Catherine spoke about it again to her confessor. In February, in the year 1832, a terrible cholera epidemic broke out in Paris and caused more than 20,000 deaths. Finally, the medal was made and in June, the Daughters of Charity began to distribute the first 2,000 medals produced. Immediately, miracles, healings and conversions took place, an overflow of healing. The miracles and healings are so much that the people began to call the medal miraculous, so that it became the miraculous medal. Thank you so much for watching.